Excuse me, anybody seen a pregnant lady around here? You can't miss me. <laughs> Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm good. I brought you some flowers. I hope you're not allergic to them. <laughs> Shoo! <laughs> you know, uh, my daughter told me that other than a bedpan, the most requested item around here was ice cream, so She's I smuggled right. in the good stuff. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, it's my favorite. Oh, good. So, uh, how are you feeling? I'm fine. I mean, I'm not bad. The hmm. baby's gonna be fine, and that's what's important. Good. I uh, saw Philip outside. And that's where you should stay, outside. Ooh, okay. Okay, that was harsh. I know, I just... Olivia, you don't have to explain anything to me, all right? It's not a mystery that I'm not a big fan of Phillips either. You want to put these in water for yeah. you? It's just that I... I have to stay calm, you know? I have to protect this baby. The sad fact is, is that I have to protect it from her own family. Believe me, Frank, there's nothing I would like more than to find out that all my fears were about nothing and that Beth is home right now Patience. taking care of them. Enough. How's Marina? She's good. She's good. Uh, she's uh, actually amazing. She is amazing. <laughs> yeah, she is. Does this mean she's getting through the whole Ben Reed nightmare? Um, actually, she's uh, unfortunately going to have some scars, but um, she's looking forward to the future. She's going to go to college. She's having a good time with Shane. Yeah. And, uh... Just having a good old normal life, right? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Good. She deserves that. Yeah, very smooth, Frankie, hitting on a pregnant woman. Well, she certainly can't run away from you, so odds are pretty good, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, protecting one of the good citizens of Springfield. Oh, Especially yeah, the great. young and beautiful ones. Olivia, how are you doing? Thank you. I'm well. Hello, Dr. Bauer. Oh, please call me Ed. Actually, Dad, I think she's referring to this doctor. Please call me Rick. Okay. <laughs> You're looking good. Your colors come back to normal. Well, thank you. I feel pretty good with, you know, all this attention and my favorite flavored ice cream. Thank you. I see Cassie in here before. You did. She went back to the hotel. Ah, I owe her a lunch next time, I guess. She'll be sorry she missed you. Ooh. Um, wow. I got something, too. Yeah, um, <laughs> I'm going to have to deal with some of yeah. history here, so. Thank you very I'll much see you. for this. Yeah, thank take you. Care, okay? I'll take care of okay. Bye. Thank you, you so much for coming. Uh, by. Bye. Bye, sweetie. And, right, don't thank be a stranger, you. right? All right. Gosh, what? wow. So, Philip out there. It's kind of a tough situation, isn't it? You've known Philip for a long time. Yep. I gave you ice cream, that's all you're gonna give me? Philip is Philip. He means well most of the time, but he has a habit of getting him, getting in his own way, and then he brings other people down with him. He and Rick have, have gone through a lot of things together. Rick's been a good friend to him. Uh, maybe better than he deserves. Of course, that's something Philip and I have in common. I just mean, uh, Rick has been better to me than I deserve over the years, and so has Michelle, that's all. From what I hear, you've been a great father. I can't imagine who would have said such a thing. Well, Parents make mistakes, right? I mean, they, they do their best for their children and then hope for the best. And no, I guess that's the parenting class I must have missed. No, really, all, all I'm saying is my kids are a prime example of children who are able to raise themselves by themselves, and they turned out just fine. I mean, they both have made happy, secure lives for themselves, thank God. Let's just call it Lizzie's Wild Ride. It was that bad? Because I love that kid, we managed. Well, what's gonna happen to her now? Well, Alexandra and Alan seem to think that it's nothing a little TLC won't cure. Yeah, what do you think? I think she needs professional help, like you said. You, you didn't mention my name, did you? Because I kinda wanna stay below the radar, if you know what I mean. Gotcha. Yeah. Hey. Did Philip send you? Well, hello to you, too. Uh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. I... Um, actually, I'm filling in for Dr. Sedwick. She's in delivery, but she did want me to pass on some good news. You get to go home today. I can't. I can't go home. What are you doing here? I came to check on you and the baby. Okay, well, you know, we're, we're fine, so you can go. Okay, well, as I was saying, 
you and the baby are doing fine. Okay. But you need to follow a couple instructions here. All right, no stress, no physical activity. And most importantly, no stress of any kind. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay, great. So who's taking you home? I'll take her. I'll take her home. Sorry. Well, I was going to go to Beacon anyway to see Cassie. It's That's not okay. a problem. I, I can take her. Uh, thank you. I, I think that, that we should talk, actually. So thanks, and thank you for the good news. You're welcome. I'll take that as a cue. And uh, if you'll excuse us, I need to talk to Dr. Bauer immediately. OK. Um, remember, Olivia, no stress of any kind. Okay. Let's get you packed up. You know, I actually meant what I said before when I told you that I didn't want to see you. I heard you. Yeah, and? That was before. Before what? You were telling me the truth about Lizzie. I know that now. I'm sorry. I didn't want it to turn out this way. I don't think anybody did. And you're still afraid. Well, I promise that I will keep Lizzie away from you and the baby. There was a problem. You, Lillian, Beth, everybody. And I didn't see how far out on the ledge she was until she damn near jumped off it. I'm sorry it had to get to that point. She just had so much pain in her life. But she always seemed somehow like she was bouncing back from it. But she wasn't. She was just absorbing the blows. And now she's... TKO? No, she's down. But she's going to beat this. I was just talking to Dr. Boudreau and I... I, I didn't realize how much she had riding on Beth and me getting back together. And when that didn't happen, it was just too much for her. Yeah, never mind. The baby and I were what stood in the way of that. Yeah, but that's, it's, no, it's, I'm, I'm what's in the way. Because I'm the one that she's angry with. I didn't fight hard enough to keep our family together. But see, she can't express that anger because if she does, she's afraid she'll lose me. But you feel safe to go after me, so... <sighs> yeah. Look. You know I did not want you to end up in the middle of this. But you don't... This is not something that you have to worry about anymore. You, do, you don't have to be afraid of listening. Come on, come on. Just because you know there's a problem now, it doesn't solve anything. I know that. I... So what's next? Well, we considered hospitalization. Lillian and Beth were fairly determined on that course, but we're going we're to try something else. We're going to do intensive therapy. Intensive therapy? Um, what happens when she's not in therapy? She's with me, or Beth, or Lillian, uh -huh. or she's in school. So it's house arrest? Yeah, sort of. But maybe that's what she needs right now. Because most, most of the problems that she has seem to come from feeling abandoned. And if we can show her that we're going to be with her every step of the way, maybe that will make her understand that she's not alone. And make her understand that we care enough about her to do whatever we have to, even if it means protecting her from herself until she can take care of herself again. See, I'm, I'm starting to realize how hard it is to make good choices for your children, you know, to do what's best for them, because that's all I think about these days, protecting this one. I would lay down my life to protect any of my children. That child that you're carrying is mine. I will never let anything hurt her. I really want to believe that. Ready to go? Yeah. 